Short loan schedule is, is a little bit similar, and in some ways that's a report of getting data from Voyager and bringing it out and exposing it. In this case, uh, it gives us a real time. What makes it better than a new books list? The new books list was a batch extraction out of Voyager. This is moving up to real time extraction, so it's incrementally better that way. Uh, at our library, we use short loans for group study rooms, for reserving group study rooms. And if you've ever used the circulation client to do that, this is what staff have to contend with to look up availability. Uh, we only have a handful of rooms that we do it for. But if you look, uh, we reserve up to two weeks in advance. So if you look at two weeks' worth, you're trying to make head and tails out of this for reserving. You'll also notice that you can't maximize that screen. What you see is what you get. So what you're doing is a lot of scrolling. And in fact, to scroll, you have to scroll to get to really the important part, which is this over here. And when you scroll over there, guess what? You can't even see which rooms are looking for. So. Uh, what got this started is uh, our circulation person came to me and said, can you write an access report that gives us that information? And I said, well, yes, I could, but would it be better if I made it available on the web? And they were looking for it just for the circulation staff. And I said, but if we put it on the web, we can also make this available to our users. So that led to this short loan schedule. So we're taking the rooms that we reserve, the time slots, and notice something else. We're not only, uh, well, this is easier for CERC staff and for students. Uh, I took this screenshot between 10 and uh, 11 AM. And you'll notice that in addition to showing when the things are reserved through short loan, it also tells you via the, the uh, uh, circulation part, uh, checkout, uh, when those uh, items are actually checked out. So it's pulling data from two different areas and putting it together. And users can check up to two weeks in advance. And this is all real-time uh, uh, response. The other thing that made this interesting to me, and this was actually done a few years ago, is this was my first attempt to do a web service. We didn't want our Voyager server exposed on our UTA Libraries website. So what I did is I've got a little extraction program over there that's running as a web service on our Voyager database server. And then on our library web server, those people wrote a little client for that uh, web service. And that's what's getting the information from my little web service. And it's not anything complicated with SOAP. It's simply uh, giving uh, HTML snippets that are totally unformatted, so they can format it with style sheets any way they want over there. The third one is Shelf Lister, which I think is, you could actually call a client. And this is not only real time, but it's, it's kind of uh, operates totally by itself. And what Shelf Lister is, it's designed to work on a PDA. And if someone has a wireless PDA, uh, one of our staff members, they can walk into our stacks. They can pull a book off the shelf, enter the barcode of that book, go a little bit further down the shelf, enter another barcode, and poof, they'll get generated a shelf list of all the books between those two books that they pulled off the shelf. And that's a shelf list whether they're on the shelf or not. Uh, and it not only, this is a screenshot of what it looks like. And as you can see, it is uh, optimized for uh, a PDA, although it can be used on a laptop if that's what you have. Or you could use it at your desk with a PC, but there's no reason to really on that. Uh, that's a picture of the uh, barcode entry form. You can see it's fairly simple. When you design for a PDA, you try and get everything out of the screen that's not absolutely necessary. Uh, 
And the results list not only gives you uh, the shelf list, and if anyone's tried to write an access query or any other query for a shelf list, you know it's, it's something that's seemingly very simple, but there are uh, a lot of gotchas in it. But this gives a very accurate shelf list. And also important is you can generate information like historical charges, uh, historical browses, and you also get information, real-time information on the uh, item status. And uh, this is the level of the list, but you can also, uh, by clicking the uh, number, get down and get a fuller display. And if an item has more than one item status and or more than one barcode, it lists all that.